Wizard of West LA here. Today we're going to look at toners and how to find lines that may be a jungle of cables or a big mess and you can use it especially if all the cables are labeled the same or have the same color you can use a toner to locate things. There are many different ones on the market and this is just one of them but I wanted to give you some handy hints that you can use and let's take a look at these toners and how they work. The first part we'll look at is this, which is called a probe. And what it is, is it has a speaker and it detects tones from the other device. The way this works is it has a speaker, it has a volume, the other ones have a rotary switch, this one has digital switches, on and off switch, and this one comes with the light. It's very simple and it gives you the strength of the signals and it has the probe tip. Some are metal, some are plastic. The old ones were metal, I still have some of those. This one is a plastic tip. But I'll show you what this does. When you hit the power switch, it turns on. And if you turn it up, you'll hear a bunch of interference. You'll hear a hum. If you touch it, you'll hear some sounds that come from it. And then this one has a, a light which projects on the top in case you're in a dark closet or wire room. Very useful little thing. The other part is the toner. And this toner has a power switch. It runs different tones and you can select different tones. It also checks uh, polarity of a phone line and all different things. And what we're going to play with are these two lines, which send out a tone, and the other device finds the tone. So using this toner, we have two lines. We have a red positive line, a black line, and a lot of them come with the uh, RJ11 jack to test the fine phone lines. What we're going to do is this is the red line actually transmits the tone and I'll show you what happens when these short out and what I'm going to do is send this tone down a piece of metal and I'm going to use the sensor and show you what this actually detects so let's turn this on and right now a tone is being emitted and you can see what it says uh, we're going to send on this one an 800 hertz tone. So, if I turn this on, there's the tone. And you can hear the tone going through this whole piece of metal as it goes through. So that is one thing that it will do. I will actually go over here and change the tone so you can see what else it does. It sends different types of tones. So that's what happens when you send a tone through. The probe will detect a tone on the piece of metal. Now let's see what happens when you short these out. Suppose you're trying to find if a line is, if a piece of wire is open or if a piece of wire is closed, like two different wires, and you're trying to see if those actually make sense on the other end. So what we're going to do, I'm going to touch these and you'll be able to hear the different sounds. So let's turn this on again and I'll leave it at 800. I'm going to just turn this on and you'll hear the tone. And I'll lower the volume. Well, you could probably hear it. Now look what happens if I touch this on the piece of metal. I'll put it closer so you can hear it. Let me turn up the volume. If you touch it together, you get a little alarm sound. And that tells you they're connected. 
And look what the sender would do. A lot of senders will do this too. It gives you a red light, which means short. If I take it off, it's continuous or open. And there's an indicator to tell you that if you're testing the line and you don't know where it goes, but on the other end they're touching, that's the little message you will get. So that is how you use a toner. So that red line just travels down a piece of wire, in this case a piece of metal, and this receives it. Now there's other, other little tricks to this. Now here's the other little trick to this that helps. If you run the toner near this, you get the tone. But if you hold it in your left hand or away from that piece of metal or actually a wire and you touch it with your right, you'll hear the sound go off. That is a way you can double check that it's that wire because you may have adjacent wires next to it and the toner will just make the same tone but if you hold it far away and touch each individual wire it'll tell you what it will do it'll tell you if it detects the tone just by touching it some people wet their fingers uh, you don't have to but you can actually touch the wire and this is very handy when you're trying to find extra lines so this is a very handy tool if you're trying to repair anything for example if your 3d printer uh, breaks one of the lines is out and you're trying to replace a line that controls like one of the motors and you can't find which line goes where you can hook the red line to one wire and then use the toner and find it where it goes through on the on the the chassis you can find where it goes and find out where it's connected so I just wanted to show you a basic concept of how you use a toner and I'll go through and show you some other videos on how you connect it to a phone how you find phone lines and different things but this is good for repair for all different types of equipment that you might have if you like the video feel free to give us a thumbs up and also feel free to subscribe to the channel as we will be posting a lot of videos with, that are jam-packed with information. Remember, keep on learning.